Welcome to First in Line Movie Reviews for Ordinary Folks. Tonight we went to see Cold Pursuit, starring Liam Neeson, right? I thought that was, uh, what was Liam Neeson, uh, taken guy? Yeah. I will find you. I will find uh, you. I have a particular set of skills, including driving a snowblower. For snowblower. Snow machine. No, it snow, is snowblower. Yeah, yeah, wow. he, snowplow. Yeah, snowplow. So, the whole premise of the, of the movie is that we have, uh, Liam Neeson's character who snow plows this road for this one particular town. He becomes person of the year and everybody loves him. He's the most wonderful person. And then his son is tragically murdered by basically drug cartel is what it almost is. And then uh, he wants his vengeance. And I tell you what, if, if, you're, if you're Liam Neeson's family in a movie, you're just in trouble. Yeah, it's a revenge flick. It's yeah, it's a revenge flick. Yeah. I mean, it's what he usually does. He is upset because somebody's either been kidnapped, murdered, or something else in his family, and so now he goes for them. It was a little different than his normal revenge set. Well, it's not, I'm, I've got a set of skills that I've been trained for military for yeah, decades. Was this was just, just like, a, I'm, I'm a really upset dad. I'm a, yeah. I'm a dude, and yeah. And I, I don't know how to fight or shoot. But I'm just going to go ahead and murder these people. Yeah, just yeah. go ahead and kill them. What the heck? And so he does. He ends up murdering, killing a whole lot of people. He also creates a fight amongst some other people who in turn kill a lot more people. So it was really start to end a bunch of killing. But yeah. it was good. It was humorous. Very dark, dark humor. I thought it was also kind of drawn out. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I... It's almost what two two hours. Yeah, it was a good two-hour movie. Yeah, and I I thought that the uh, the bad guy sometimes was a little comic book character. He had, he had a lot of enthusiasm in how he spoke and what he did. He was a little crazy. Yeah, maybe that's what I think it they was. all were a little crazy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was it was a good movie. It was a uh, I've read recently that it's a uh, supposed to be like a new Fargo, you know for this generation which Fargo was pretty dark and a lot of uh, it's been a while since I've seen mm -hmm. it but it was pretty it was kind of dark kind of like this and anyway I really enjoyed it I did too so for me thumbs up I'd say go sit but you know take it on a little date or you know matinee or if you got a free ticket it's a good good show to see all right it's not worth my it's too cold it's, I'm not gonna take my hands out of my pocket <laughs> <laughs> That, by the way, through that movie, if you better hope the heaters are on because the movie itself makes you feel like you're cold the yeah, whole time. It takes place at, in, in seems like northern Colorado, like above Denver. So I'm sure it's in the middle of winter. It looks so. like a beautiful place. I'm I'm pretty sure that all of it was CGI, but it was it was it I made it was a place I wish I'd go to. That's a pretty neat looking place. I just don't want to be part of all the killing. No, no. You know? no. Otherwise, guys, go see it. It was a good movie. Thumbs up. Have a good day.